Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, Adam, what's on your mind today? Thanks for watching us on Free Speech TV. Hey. Yeah, appreciate it. I think he had a, before I get to my uh, debt ceiling um, topic, I just uh, remember one of your callers talked about um, a documentary on Netflix about Jesus being created by the Romans. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to find it. I couldn't, I couldn't find it on Netflix. But anyway, this is interesting because um, I saw another video that, um, this one was on YouTube, which talked about um, Jesus actually being invented by the Romans by a special sect of Romans called the Flavians, F-L-A-V-I-A-N-S. And um, their contention was that, well, not the person Jesus, but the, the kind of uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and um, him claiming to be a son of God, those attributes uh, being invented. And th they were claiming that the Romans invented this so that they could um, have used Jesus as, uh, for commerce and uh, commercial reasons. So um, how? how does that work? For example, yeah, for example, in the in the legal system in, in the United States and Britain, which, uh, you know, is based on Roman law, um, for example, that's why they're so, so prosecutors are so hell bent on trying to go after um, people who have con have committed a statutory violation but have not damaged or injured anybody, such as like smoking um, marijuana when it was illegal, because they would, uh, this goes back to Venice, and um, when, they, when the Venetian uh, legal guild started uh, commercializing the sin. So in other words, if you committed a sin, they needed to profit off it. And that's, you know, that's one example. So um, interesting. But as far as, yeah, as far as the debt ceiling goes, I remember um, how Republicans are throwing their arms up and they're crying and yelling and all this about the amount of money supposedly Democrats are spending. Do you remember in um, September 10th, 2001, Donald Rumsfeld held a press conference saying that him or the U.S. government couldn't, affect, couldn't account for $2 trillion dollars? And just the hypocrisy. I mean, that's that's you're a talking, large, incredible amount of money. It was you're talking the money that went missing in Iraq. That was billions, not trillions, wasn't it? Or are you well, talking no, about I the Pentagon was, budget? I thought I thought there was some. He held a pe press conference. I can't remember specifically, but whether it was Iraq or the Pentagon or <clears throat> yeah. what it was specifically. Because we were sending money over to conference. Iraq on pallets in billion dollar, yeah. you know, billion dollar pallets, uh, not trillion yeah. dollar. Trillion dollar would, you know, f fill Baghdad. <laughs> well, I thought it was trillions. But anyways, my point is, is where were the Republicans? Why wasn't anybody howling and crying? And Oh, it's because they're complete hypocrites on this topic. Uh, you know, they just introduced know, yesterday in the House of Representatives a $1.1 trillion tax cut for billionaires. Yeah. This and is, and the know. thing about that is, is not only did they let that go completely, but... They didn't even demand an investigation. And right. it's just amazing how, you know, when um, Biden wants to wants infrastructure change and stuff like that, they they cry bloody murder. But, right. hey, trillions, billions of dollars go missing and not cr their crickets chirping in the background. Yeah, you know? no, it's they're complete hypocrites on this. And and in fact, uh, you know, uh, as I pointed out, they're following a script. Jude Winiski laid it out in 1974. When there's a Republican in office, spend money like a drunken sailor. When there's a Democrat in office, scream and holler about the debt. And, uh, Adam, thank you for the call.